There's been a few deaths over the last few years in American hip-hop culture, which has related to um, opiates, Xanax and alcohol. When people are drinking lean, that's possibly you know, 20 times the amount of a prescribed dose. So their risk-taking behaviour is rocketing. We are beat producers and rappers. We just drink lean to try and make that wavy, sort of relaxed sound that's popularised today. The men originated the OG dons that you'd hear about. It's like Juicy J, 36 Mafia. Lil yeah. Wayne. There's, there's a lot. The UK and the US thing is just following a similar suit. Some of the UK rappers drink it now. Well, obviously lean music just it's just slow, isn't it? I mean, you see it's a painkiller. Euphoric feel to it. Sedative, kind of, drowsy. That's why the music that it sort of stemmed from sounds the way it does. That is literally how you feel when you do it. The large majority of our music has been made under the influence. When you're writing and you've got all these kind of like inhibitions that you know stop you from wanting to write or do something or draw something, it's almost like taking the pad back off. Reach the top, so we need a lot. I don't need to stop, then we need to pop. I'll eat a wasp, or better yet, a big bug. Push around underground like I'm Dick Dub. Hey. Kick all the suckers of mine, and my spirit stays strong like I'm Rudolph Steiner. Yeah. Keep secrets, but I'm not a shriner. We make my mind interior designer. Woo. But I did from the well and bowing, I can tell I'm growing, I bet hell is snowing. If people are going to use that combination of codeine and Xanax, alcohol could quite easily come into that mix, and that's what we'd call an overdose triangle, when there's opiates, alcohol and benzos on board. The overdose risk rockets, and people could just start to gouge out, feeling quite relaxed and floaty, and then start to go unconscious, stop breathing and die. Whichever way you want to look at it, whether it's you know, positive or negative, it's, it's still spawned like an, an era of music which, which still goes on to this day and is becoming the most popular commercial mainstream music within our generation. Over time we will start to see people who are struggling with this combination of lean. Because anecdotally we hear about a lot of young people who are using it. Once the, the craze calms down and people start to try and stop using it, people will start to see that there is an actual issue there.